Well, it was good while it lasted, but the day has finally come when you can no longer use a Windows 7 product key to install and activate Windows 10 and Windows 11. Coming up in this video, I'll give you a few options for running Windows 11 for a relatively low cost, or even for free with a few caveats. Quick disclaimer, this video is aimed at personal users or home labs, it's not recommended for work or business environments. When Windows 10 was released back in 2015, Microsoft said that anyone running Windows 7 or Windows 8 could upgrade to Windows 10 for free for the first year. That year came and went, but Microsoft didn't stop or disable the free upgrade, it just carried on. And it wasn't just upgrades, you could actually do a clean install of Windows 10 using a Windows 7 key and it would activate successfully. And this later extended to Windows 11 when it came out. Back when Windows 7 was released, PC manufacturers used to attach a sticker containing the product key to the PC case. This was the key that would be used to activate Windows on that machine. By the time Windows 8 and later Windows 10 was released, PC makers no longer included a product key on the sticker on that machine. Instead, a digital product key was installed into the BIOS of that machine and Windows would activate automatically. As many businesses used their own custom Windows image with a special product key designed for hundreds or even thousands of machines, it was possible to reuse the product key from the sticker on the PC case for a completely different machine. This was because the product key on that machine had never actually been used. Not only did it work on Windows 7, but also on Windows 10 and 11. But Microsoft announced in September of 2023 that you would no longer be able to activate Windows 10 and 11 with a Windows 7 or Windows 8 key. And in October of 2023, the change was made and it was the end of an era. This is what I got when I recently tried to activate Windows using a Windows 7 key. Fair play to Microsoft for allowing this to go on for so long. I guess they were just keen to get everyone to upgrade from Windows 7. So what are the options for obtaining Windows going forward? The two legitimate ways to get Windows 11 are either to buy a new device which comes preloaded with Windows 11, or to buy a product key that you can use to install Windows 11 to an existing PC. These are both fairly costly options as even if you just buy a product key it will still cost you $139 for Windows 11 Home, and if you want Windows 11 Professional you would need to pay nearly $200. But there are a few ways to run Windows 11 for a low cost or even for free with a few caveats. Firstly, anyone can download Windows 11 for free. It's the product key that costs the money, not the installation media. So option one is download and install Windows 11 without entering a product key. Windows will not be activated, but it will function 99% the same as an activated version. The only thing it prevents you from doing is personalizing Windows, for example, setting your own desktop wallpaper. However, there are simple workarounds for that, so that's no big deal. Instead of selecting the wallpaper in the settings app, you can just open an image in the Windows Photo Viewer, then click on Set as Background. The only other issue is that you get a little watermark on the bottom right corner of the screen reminding you to activate Windows. It's not too intrusive, but it will always be there. One thing worth pointing out is that Windows Update will work as normal and you will receive the same updates as an activated machine. If you prefer to have Windows fully activated, then another free option is to download the Windows 11 evaluation version. Again, this is totally free to download and use, but the caveat here is that it will only stay activated for three months. After that, Windows will continue to work, but will no longer be activated, and you won't be able to personalize Windows without using the workaround I mentioned earlier. Regardless of whether it's activated or not, it will always display a watermark in the bottom right corner, highlighting that you are running an evaluation version. As it will only stay activated for three months, you might be thinking, what is the point of doing that? Well, you could just continue in an inactivated state, or you could clean install the evaluation version every three months to always have a free activated version of Windows. That might be too much work for some, but if you're organised and do a little bit of preparation beforehand, it's possible to get up and running with a fresh version of Windows in around 30 minutes. If you use cloud storage like Microsoft OneDrive or Google Drive to store your data, and take advantage of free services like Ninite or Chocolater. It's simple to reinstall a lot of your apps automatically with a single click. So although it's a bit of work to get up and running again every three months, one benefit is that you will always have a clean system. And the bonus is that the evaluation version is Windows 11 Enterprise, which doesn't come with a lot of the bloatware that comes with the home and pro versions of Windows 11. One thing to be aware of is that it's not possible to obtain a product key for the evaluation version and activate it permanently you would need to reinstall a full version of Windows. And finally, a cheap way to run a fully activated version of Windows is to buy a product key from an online reseller that isn't Microsoft. You can just Google download Windows 11 product key to find several sites offering cheap product keys. You can download the installation media from Microsoft so that you know it's genuine software and then you can buy a key from one of these sites and you'll have a fully activated version of Windows 11. 
Hope you found that useful. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.